it's Bonnie Rose, fashion photographer. So let's see, it's April, but not for much longer. And I've sorely lagged on making another video log this month, but here we go. And just in case you see this in May, this will be a good recap of what we've done over the last month. But first, let me just show you something. <gasps> Yay! So this is my first published work in a magazine, not as a photographer, but as a hairstylist. This cover here, this is my friend Alicia and my friend Bobby. And this wonderful cover was shot by photographer Lisa Roberts, one of my very talented friends. And this was awesome. So we're just going to show you through the whip cram some of the pictures because they're very awesome. And if you don't know who Lisa Roberts is or these wonderful models, definitely check them out. This was the green issue. And all these fabulous clothes. Thrift stores. That's right. You don't have to go buy everything new. One thing I really love, though, being able to do hair. Because that's, you know, another huge passion of mine. It's going to be creative. So here we had peacock feathers, ribbons in her hair. Stunning red hair that everyone's jealous of. So thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you, Military Spouse. Thank you to Bobby and Alicia. This was just a really fabulous project to work on. Model of the Month for April is Kristen. We've shot two times together for her solo shots. We've shot together with Alicia a couple times. Did some really fun makeup stuff with makeup artist Crystal, which was great to get to see and work with her again. We did a doll shoot. Um, makeup artist Melissa helped out on that. Really stunning work with that one. And if you haven't checked it out, they look adorable and creepy at the same time. But that was really fun. I think knowing Alicia, having seen the way her eyes portrayed in one shoot that we did together at a playground, and then seeing Kristen, I was like, wow, her eyes are stunning. So I had to make them into freaky, cute, adorable-looking dolls. But anyways, that was a lot of fun. What else have we been doing this month? Oh, that's right. Almost forgot. So my mom came in all the way from Tucson to go to this with me. This is the newest issue of Look Hawaii Magazine. I uh, did one photo shoot with them, which is probably going to be in the re-release of this one. And three other photo shoots were in this one. So we went to the launch party. There was a VIP at the Hilton. And then we went over to Pearl. And my mom and Ryan and I had so much fun. Got to meet a lot of people on Facebook. So hey to my Facebook friends. I finally got to meet for the first time. That was really nice. I just wanted to show you some pictures from here. If you remember Carolina, I shot her. Found her on Model Mayhem. Just had a couple pictures in bikini. And I was like, wow, you know, she's got potential. And she's from Poland. So, you know, I got hard out to my European peeps. So, here is one picture. It was a two-page spread. Awesome. So, that got picked out to be used in that. Um, Malia, hairdresser. These are three pictures from our shoot. And the rest of them haven't been published online yet. So, look for them to be released now online so you can see them. And I got to meet Malia, different Malia who is a belly dancer. And this was one shot for her informational ad in the magazine. She was wonderful. I'm looking to maybe work with her again. So that was really neat. Two magazines, one month. My photography for the first time, that's a big deal. So who knows what's going to be in store for the summer. Looks like I definitely have a year left in Hawaii. So really just focusing on my portfolio, all those crazy ideas that are swimming in my head, getting those out. Which brings me to my last thing. I know this is coming out the end of April, so there's a shoot coming up in May that I'm very excited about. It's an idea I've had in probably almost as long as the idea for my dream shoot. This one, though, I was trying to figure out how to combine all my themes of the concept together so they were congruent. I figured it out finally and was looking to cast the right models for certain spots, cast the rest of the shoot, going to be working with Lisa again, uh, makeup artist Diana, 
and Racine, who I used to work with before. I did airbrush makeup, so it's going to be really fun. Kind of crazy at my house, but, you know. Oh, yeah, and I might be moving my bed out of the master bedroom, making this a photo studio. So we shall see. Who knows? It's what you do when you got to work in small spaces. So April has been an awesome month. Awesome. Despite some setbacks of I cut my pinky, uh, sliced it off with the mandolin, so I had a big bandage. I know you probably saw that on Facebook or on my Tumblr or Twitter. Uh, it's healed now. It's kind of weird typing because it's like, oh yeah, part of my finger's missing. Um, maybe from taking care of my kids and doing photography and stuff, but I've messed up my neck and I've had to have my wonderful masseuse in Kailua work on that. So thank you, Aaron. Still really can't like have full range of my neck, which is frustrating, but we'll get there. Uh, I was on a photo shoot with Lisa and I... Thorn went through my flip flop all the way to my foot. Blood was bleeding everywhere. So it's been announced I should live in a bubble. So who knows? Maybe my photo shoots now will be in a bubble and I can just roll down the hill, take photos that will. So, <laughs> anyways, thank you for listening to my video log, listening to my many ums. I'm going to be working on that. So, to my theater professors at university, I'm very sorry. I'm definitely going to work on that. Anyways, ciao. Kiss, kiss.